Hello, today I'm going to talk about the 7-in-1 survival whistle. So let's get started. So let's check out the features on this survival whistle. First I kind of notice there's a compass. Let's just see how... Hmm. Well, you know, it is, it's pretty accurate. That, that is, uh, that is north, so uh, yeah, that's good. How about, um, this? Let's see. It says it's just about 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's pretty much how hot it is in this room. I mean, I do live in Hawaii. Okay, let's check out the uh, whistle feature. Okay, so let's let's test the whistle because it's it's uh, called a whistle, right? But it has all the other things too. Well, the whistle, you know, it's not that loud, but um it's probably pretty good because, um, you know, you can't yell for too long. Have you ever tried yelling? And uh, a whistle, you can blow on a whistle until you're dying breath. Okay, the way this light operates is that there's a button on the top of the light here, and you just press it to, um, you know, turn it on. Uh, let's test out the light, uh, light on this uh, whistle. Yeah, it looks pretty bright. You know, but I'm going to turn off the lights just to see, you know, how it looks like in the dark. Let's close this. Okay, here's the light. Oh, you know, that's pretty bright. I can see my face okay. And I'm gonna just shoot this into the mirror and see how it is. Yeah, you know, um, I can see myself. It's, um, you know, enough light where I can see, you know, everything around me. So it's not too bad, I think, um, you know, like if I was trapped in the wilderness, this might be all right for a light. It's pretty strong for what it is. So that's the last of the features on the outside of the whistle. Let's uh, go to the inside now and see what's in here. Okay, this thing, it looks like it's a magnifier, like a magnifying mirror, you know, perhaps to start fires. See how good it is at magnifying uh, text. Here's um, a Hawaiian-style newspaper. Let's see if it can magnify some of these words here. Okay, I'm going to try this. Let's see, what does this say here? Can I do it? Oh, yeah, Hawaiian. I, yeah, okay. Okay, this magnifies pretty good. Like, uh, yeah, not too bad, actually. Let's see, can it go on to people's uh, faces? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Okay, now a true test of the magnifying glass. I'm going to uh, try to burn this paper here. Um, yeah, you know, uh, it, it is definitely burning. Um, I don't know if I could really start a fire because I'm not skilled enough to do that. But I'm sure in a survival situation, I mean, it can burn. So I'm sure that, you know, if you had the right type of material, you could start a fire pretty easily with this magnifier. Okay, the second thing that's on the inside is a signal mirror. Let's see, how does this thing work? Could it signal? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a signal mirror, all right. I mean, if you're like a down pilot, you could use this thing, maybe. All right, let's see. Um, the last thing that's on this whistle, like on the inside part, is a container. Uh, by the way, the screw here is so that you can get at the battery. In case you need to replace the battery for the light. So, yeah, um, that's how you get at it. And let's see, what, what could you put into this container? Well, you know, I know something that I might put in there is uh, some fishing hooks, you know? Number nine fishing hooks. Or, you know, po possibly like one of these uh, weights. I don't know, maybe. Just to make things heavier or maybe... Oh, okay, this, this wouldn't fit into there, but uh, whatever, you know. Uh, fishing string might be a good idea. Put that in there. You know, cut, cut some and put some in there. Or maybe, um, you know like a thread, needle and thread. Okay, the needle might not fit, but the thread, the thread would. Or how about, um, you know, all important matches. Get some matches and put them into there. Let's see, would that go? Okay, well, maybe if you cut the matches off and just like, and maybe, yeah. Or how about the most important thing, in case you got an itch, jungle cream, you know, to uh, get rid of uh, some fungus, you know. I guess you wouldn't like squirt it into there, but maybe you'd you'd like take a vial and like you'd you put this into the vial and then you'd like take this and shove it 
Okay, that won't fit, but if you get a smaller vial, maybe, then you'd have your jungle, you know, like itch, itch medication or whatever, you know, jungle rot, whatever they call that. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's some of the uses you could use this for, the container. I think it's pretty cool. That's the 7-in-1 survival whistle. Uh, what do I think about it? Yeah, I think it's not too bad. I mean, this was shipped to my house for about $2, and, uh, you know, that's how much it cost. I mean, you can't beat that. I'm sure that there's stronger whistles out there, and if I just wanted a dedicated whistle, I'd probably get one of those, but, um, you know, I like all the features on this thing. It's like, uh, many features, and, um, you know, something good to throw on the backpack, and, uh, just have it in case you need it. Well, thanks for watching, and, uh, shoutouts to all my buddies, and, uh, goodbye.